the given differential equation is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to x y cube and also its solution is given as y square into 1 plus c into e power x square is equals to 1. Now we have to find the value of p of x. In order to find the value of p of x, first of all we have to convert the given differential equation into first order differential equation. Now in order to convert that, we have to divide the given differential equation by y cube. So if we divide it by y cube, we will obtain y power minus 3 into dy by dx plus y power minus 2 into dy by into p of x is equals to x. Now again in order to convert it into first order differential equation what we do is let us consider y power minus 2 into dy by dx as some z. Now if we differentiate we will get it as minus 3 minus 2 into y power minus 3 into dy by dx is equals to dz by dx. Now this can be written as y power minus 3 equals to minus half into dz by dx. Now let us substitute these values of y power minus 2 and y power minus 3 in the differential equation. So it will be y power minus 3 is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 into dz by dx and the value of p of x will be as it is and y power minus 2 is nothing but y power minus 2 is nothing but z is equals to some x. Now this can be written as dz by dx minus 2 zx is equals to minus 2x. Now clearly it is in the form of a first order differential equation whose integrating factor will be e power minus p of x dx. Now here this is p of x. Now here clearly this p of x must be either x or minus x. The reason is it is given as e power minus x square. So p of x uh, integrating factor will be e power minus x square if and only if this p of x is x or minus x. So let us take x. Let p of x is equals to x. Then the integrating factor will be e power minus x square. Now let us see the general solution. General solution will be nothing but y into integrating factor which is e power minus x square is equals to integration of integrating factor into q of x which is nothing but minus 2x dx. If I integrate this it will be y into e power minus x square that is equals to uh, e power minus x square plus some c. If we simplify we will get the given Dif um, given solution of the equation. That means the integrating factor is e power minus x square. So p of x must be always x which is nothing but option c. Now in this problem we have to find the Taylor expansion of sin x at x is equals to pi by 6. Now Taylor expansion in one dimensional if f of x is any function at x is equals to a is given by the formula f of x is equals to f of a plus f dash a into x minus a plus f double dash a by 2 factorial into x minus a whole square plus triple differentiation of f of a by 3 factorial into x minus a whole cube and so on. Somewhere nth term and so on again. Now here we have to find the Taylor expansion of sin x. So the value of f of x is sin x and we know the value of a which is given as pi by 6. Now sin x will be equals to sin pi by 6 plus differentiation of sin at pi by 6 into x minus a which is x minus pi by 6 plus double differentiation that is d square by dx square into sin x at x is equals to pi by 6 into x minus a x minus pi by 6 whole square plus so on. If we simplify this expression, we will get it as 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 into x minus pi by 6 minus 1 by 4 into x minus pi by 6 whole square plus so on, which is nothing but option 1.
Now in this problem, i is given as integral over c cot of phi z by z minus i whole square, where c is the contour 4x square plus y square is equal to 2 in clockwise direction. Then we have to find the value of i. Now in order to find the value of i, so first what we do is we'll find the residue of the given function. Now residue of this function will be limit z tends to 1 d by dt of cos of cot of phi z which is equals to minus phi by sin h square phi. Now from Cauchy's residue theorem i is nothing but 2 pi i into residue. We know that residue is nothing but minus pi and by sin h square pi which will be equals to minus pi square 2i by sin h square x which is nothing but option d. In this problem we have to find the principal value of minus r power i. Now the given complex number is minus i power i. Now in order to simplify this first we will convert this minus i into mod ampere form which says that e power i theta is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta. Now if I take theta as minus pi by 2 then this will become e power minus i pi by 2 and cos of minus pi by 2 is 0 plus i into sin of minus pi by 2 is minus 1. So e power minus pi by 2 can be written as minus i. So I will replace this minus i with e power minus pi by 2 in minus i power i which is e power minus i pi by 2 whole power i will be equals to e power minus i square into pi by 2 which can be written as e power pi by 2 which is nothing but the principal value of the given complex number that is option b.